And we are live once again, Hybrid Hybrid, Good to have it. welcome, welcome, welcome to today's live stream. It's Friday, freaking finally Friday, December 16th, 2022, day when uh, we're gonna do the first ever Cryptic Hybrid anime watch along, but that's for later on. For now, we're live, we're live on YouTube at least. If you're watching this later on, then you might find me on other, pl in other places, maybe on Odyssey, maybe on Rumble, whatever. But right now, as I'm speaking this, I'm live on, on YouTube and we're gonna play some Teresa Moon Thiners in the Lair of the Beast. This is a point of adventure game that I've been following for quite some time. I did a gameplay video of um, the demo version back in, I believe, the spring of 2021, but now the game is out, it launched on the 14th of December, it's available on Steam right now, see the link in the description below if you want to get it, it's a point and adventure game, very classic, um, classic but with a 3D look, and in this we play a private investigator going to look into the disappearance or the potential disappearance of a team of scientists. We'll, we'll see the story as we go on. Now if you're interested in the game, again it is available on Steam right now, link in the description below. It is 15% off for the launch week, which means you can get it for like under under $8, under 7 euros. Um, yeah, just see the link in the description below. Alright, let's start the game and uh, See how it goes? It's loading! It's loading! Italy Tuesday, the 28th of November, 1995 Local time, 7.45 17.45, sorry, 5.45, yeah Regions in Northern Piemont On the borders with Switzerland in the lair of the beast. This cave appeared late uh, recently after the dissolution of some glaciers and it was so called because seen by the slopes of the mountain it recalls or looks like or resembles the face of a wolf. So the Lukwa, a company specialized in scientific research and expeditions, Sent, uh, secretly decided to send three scientists to make some measurements. Yeah, measurements. But after the first week of research, there's been no news of the team for five days. Now the team, the compound team, which lies in the mountain, uh, in the installation. Okay, that, that goes a bit too fast. Now I wanted to make a problem, the problem public. Look what decided to uh, get a private investigator. Teresa Moon with uh, Moon Tiners. That's you. Um, I don't know why the text goes so fast, that's a problem, we should just go on click. Anyway, after a short but stormy helicopter trip, Teresa is left next to the perimeter of the installation. Alone, because that's very smart. You just, you know, leave someone in the, in the Italian Alps alone, it's like, yeah, yeah, just see what happens. Oh boy, alright. Alright, well, we're here and, oh, by the way, who sends a private investigator in the Italian Alps without anything on them? This is crazy, this is, this is borderline irresponsible and I think that that company, uh, Lucas, like, there's something off about them. They can't, they, they're not treating their, their employees or contractors like they should be. I, like, I, I should have at least two armed guards with me, I should have, well, in my invent, I should have, like, a backpack with all sorts of, you know things to help me around um, in, in in this cold, like a like a lighter, like maybe a knife, a flashlight. I don't know, some something to keep me warm. Maybe like a uh, like a battery pack, a warm blanket. I don't know something. Anyway, in that direction, there's only ice and snow. The installation is on the opposite side. Right. General panel. Okay, let's go there. Power switch. By the way, look at the. It doesn't work. It seems there's no power. Look at look at the cave in the back. That looks really cool. I really like that. Uh, open. Open says me. You switch. Did that do anything? Oh, we have lights now. Well, we have lights. Oh, okay. We have lights back there. Cool. Perfect. In this way, there's power throughout the whole circuit. Nice. I mean, it's a little odd that they have this um, this switch right next to the helipad and not, you know, in the compound. But anyway, that's their thing, I guess. To the gate. Okay, I see a camera. Is someone watching us? 
maybe. Now that the electricity has been restored, the camera works. Yeah, it is working, yes. Looking carefully, it must be broken because it moves strangely. Or, or that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Alright, let's see. I mean, it's very windy. She's definitely not dressed for the, um, for the weather. She's trying to be, like, too cool for school, you know? It's an electric gate. There's a panel with... Oh, with buttons. That's buttons. It's supposed to say buttons. It is powered. Now I just have to know the code. Which... I don't know the code. Okay. Okay. Maybe this is a code somewhere I didn't find it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Maybe there's a code somewhere. I'm just brute forcing it. It's like, yeah. Ah, there we go. See the camera? Oh, the camera was the clue. Okay, I got it. The camera was the clue. Good, I managed to open the gate. Now let's get shelter because it's really too cold here. I mean, it, by the way, it, that's on her. That's on her, the fact that she's not, you know, she's cold. Like, you should dress better for the occasion. This, it's, you know, it's November in the Italian Alps. Of course it's gonna be cold. The gate closed again. Better so we avoid some hungry animal uh, um, entering easily. Yeah. What actually? What what animals would there be in the Italian Alps? Wolves? Are there wolves in there? I'm I'm assuming maybe some bears, right? I assume those would be the case. The, the handle to open the door is frozen. I have to find something to leverage, for leverage. Mm, of course, it's gonna be closed. Locker. Bear, wolves? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, a hungry wolf, or hungry, actually, the one, the hungry bear. Ooh, flashlight? Well, if it isn't a flashlight. See, I should have had that on my own. Uh, anyway, uh, a must have um, in, uh, in any respectable adventure. True. A flashlight? Okay, so if there was like a few things that you would get in adventure games, maybe the flashlight wouldn't be the, f the top, but. Definitely either a coin or a screwdriver, f both for to use as um, as screwdrivers. Like, cause you can use a coin to unscrew certain screws. But you know, f close a, a close second or third place, a flashlight in adventure games. Yes, definitely. It's no coincidence that the batteries are missing, so it's useless for the moment. Oh, of course, they'll have batteries. These people are not as, uh, are not prepared at all, just like me. However, I took it. The batteries will be somewhere. Yeah, we'll we'll find some. Duct tape, or all duct tape, a strong one. Nice, I, I need duct tape. Oh, and a key? It may be useful to open some door. Definitely, anything here, a metal bar. An iron bar. I could use it to leverage the handle of the installation entrance. Okay, I like how I like how she's so neat that she just closes it back up. It's like, okay. Alright, let's use the metal bar. Hmm, the idea is right, but the metal bar alone is not enough. I have to assemble it with some hook-made object. That's very specific, Teresa. And this way I can fit uh, fit it to the door, uh, to the door handle and force it. Okay. I mean, it's funny how she says that, like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna force it. Like, you look like you're, like, 55 kilos at most, Teresa. I mean, seriously. It's cold and on this way there's nothing interesting. Better look elsewhere. How do you know there's nothing interesting in here? How do you know? Teresa, you're acting like like a know-it-all. No one likes a know-it-all. Go to the hangar. No one likes a know-it-all. Hmm. I'm guessing it's locked. Of course it's closed. Everything is closed. It's too dark. I can't see anything inside. Yeah. Okay, side road. I like the design of everything here. Okay. Closed door. Oh, great. Close. Oh, uh, okay, let's use the key. There we go. The correct key. Let's see if I find something useful in here. 
Well, it's a closet. Okay, that's a pretty big closet then. Reinforced one. Switch. Ah, lights. Heating machinery. It's a machinery used for heating. I think I'll need to activate it to turn on the hot air inside the installation. Hmm, it doesn't work. Over here then. Hooks for tank. They're hooks for propane tanks. Oh, that's what they use for heating. To be honest, there's uh, one that's a little shaky. Shaky? Oh yeah. I could use this with the metal bar. It could work, I just have to find a way to keep them together. Well, I have the duct tape. And I guess... Okay, so we're gonna need some propane. Uh, and then, then okay, metal bar with a hook. There we go. A bar, the bar and hook are assembled. Well, not yet because they don't won't hold. But with with a tape, which would, by the way, duct tape, like super useful. There we go. I'm sure I can now force the entrance door of the installation. Oh, the duct tape is gone. I kind of wanted to keep that with me just in case. Can I? Okay, I can turn on the lights. I like how she's closing the doors, like, she's very proper. She closes the doors when she leaves, she closes the doors of, um, of lockers, and she puts the, the lock back, the... It's, it's, she's very, she's very neat like that. Or, or she's very OCD, which, I'm guessing that's the case, she's OCD. Alright, Teresa, let's use how, let's see how strong you are. It works. I have to hook this to the handle and then leverage it. it just, uh, here, I'm actually on the handle. I can finally enter and shelter from the storm. Wow, you know what? This tick I created was really useful. I'll keep it. It could be useful later on. I mean, the duct tape could have been useful and you threw that away. Outside it's dark. It would be better to spend the night in a closed and safe space. I mean, I wasn't going to s sleep outside anyway. All right, go go right in. Go right in, Teresa. And that was how Teresa walked towards her first extraordinary adventure. By forcing the door open. Of course, it's super dark. Super dark, super dark. It's okay. Can you close the door now, Jesus? You're letting all the cold air in. Okay. There we go. Electricity. At least we have that. That's a good thing. What do we have here? Control panel. Okay, the door is closed. Now to find a way to warm the room. Bolt? Nothing. Okay. Oh, look at the picture. I think it's a group photo of the team of researchers. Now, where, they, where they're now? Who knows? It was taken on a sunny day, most likely when they arrived. In the background, you can see the entrance of the cave very clearly. Yeah, that looks even more menacing from here. Oh, it really looks like a wolf's mouth. Hmm. I think it's a memo to the procedure to follow to operate the heating machinery. So, let's see. First, before operating the machinery, make sure you have connected the propane tank. Then, wait for the status lights to turn on. Flip the main switch of the machinery. Flip the lever um, on the control panel to start heating the air in the rooms. All clear, but the gas tank is still missing. Okay, another key. This is a bit smaller though. These are uh, the grids from which the hot air comes out. It would be nice to see them work. Maybe if I manage to start the heating. Well, I, there is this thing. Let me guess. The small key is for the lock? It's the correct key. Yes. Thank God. I was afraid that it, uh, it was not the right one. I mean, to be fair though, seeing how she's very strong, I could have used this uh, reinforced hook bar on, on the locker and just, you know, open it, I think. Let's see... Propane tanks! That's what we need! I can't believe it! A locker full of gas tanks! I think they're just what I was looking for. I mean, yeah, definitely. I have no doubt that carrying the tank from here to the closet will be pretty difficult. 
It's important that as soon as I take the gas tank, I immediately go to put it in the heating machinery. Without going the wrong way, I will not be able to go far with this weight. Oh, now she's complaining about weight? Alright. Oh, so heavy! Alright. Well, I like how she's, um... She's still, uh... Like, closing everything. Come on, quickly, quickly, Teresa, go, go, go! We don't have time! I mean, I have time, just, you know, you're not very strong. You're not a very strong detective. Like, physically strong. It's okay, it's fine. Like, it's all about the mental, you know? She's all about... Um, her strengths don't lie in, in physical uh, ability. They lie in, um, in her mental capacity. Her cognitive abilities. Come on. I have to hurry. This tank weighs a lot. Well, okay. Alright, let's put this in. There we go! Alright, wait for the green light. And then we can turn the device. There we go! The machinery has started. Now I can return the control panel and operate the heating. Okay, so this is working now. I wonder if I have to change the propane tank later on. Maybe that's gonna be a case. Alright, go go quick, 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 quick. Come on, quick. Quick, Teresa, come on. Come on, it's cold. Do you know that song, uh, Baby It's Cold Outside? It's like, it's very cold outside. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 and close the door behind you. Because if we have heating, we can, you know, relax a little bit, and we can actually sleep in here. Not that, you know, not that I really want to sleep in this place, but, you know, what can you do? I have to. All right. Come on. Perfect. It's on now. Soon the temperature should start to rise. Ah, yes. Okay, the door is closed. Now we found a way. Uh, now we found a way to uh, heat the room. These are the grids from the hot, uh, which the hot air comes out of. Ah, what a nice warmth. Now it's really nice in here. I mean, it's still a little claustrophobic in here. But wait, wait, wait. What do we have here? Cabinet. Window. I mean, <laughs> there's not, not much to see outside. Uh, let's see the clothes first. They must be the protections that the researchers wear outside during surveys. By the way, see? See, Teresa? This is what you're supposed to wear when you go outside. Not this coat and like, come on, look, look at you. She's dressed like she's going to Paris on a, on a, let's say, rainy day. Like, it's not even, like, she's not even dressed for, I don't know, like, 10 degrees, she's dressed for like 12 degrees, Paris, rainy day, that, that's it. It's like, come on, you're in the Alps. How strange, there's only a jacket and a pair of boots left. This makes me think that only one person is inside the installation. Well, that's your assumption, maybe there's no one left inside. Whilst well, the rest of the team should be out. Maybe they got lost or who knows what might have happened to them. Well, that's what we're here to find out. This jacket is dirty with dry red mud. Dry red mud. And it's ripped in several spots. Let's see if I can find something interesting in the pockets. There is something in the internal pocket. A box with an antenna and a button. It could be a remote control. Yes, but for what? Hmm, I don't have any idea yet, but somebody tells me that if I found it, surely it will serve myself. Um, at the right time. Remote controller. Okay. There are various electrical components. Bulbs, fuses, and electric cable. Do I need anything? The cable? No, I don't need it. Fuses. I have no idea how they could be useful. Okay, I got a light bulb. I hope I won't need any other component. I'm really not an electrician. Alright. Okay, we got a light bulb though. There's a bit of everything. Books, comics, pastimes? I don't think the word pastimes works. Uh, making the introduction of the game, you can see the Teresa's colon. Oh! 
Ah, okay, okay, okay. Well, I didn't play the introduction because it, it to me it was more like a it, like it was just it was a story. I was like, ah, well, I know how to play point and adventure games. Yeah, okay. Still, she should have dressed better, you know. Um, let's go to the leisure corner after a hard day. It's a book by um, Agatha Ag Agatha Christie. Oh, so it's a yeah. It's titled The Man Dressed in Brown. I haven't read this yet. Uh, whistle. It's a whistle, like those um, those used by referees. I don't think it can serve me. Yeah, I mean, like just just imagine just whistling, like taking the, like what's gonna happen? No one's gonna come after you. It's more likely that you're gonna attract the attention of animals, of wild animals around. A <laughs> two bricks cube. Look, a two bricks cube. Uh, I never managed to solve one. Really? Teresa, with your smarts, you're a detective! You're supposed to be smart and, you know, solve these things. I could just take it, just in case I get bored at some point. Okay. A battery, okay, I need that. Pick up the battery. And a Game Joy! I think it's called Game Joy or something like that. I don't understand anything about these electronic games. My son spends entire days attached to these things. Oh, of course, youth of today. Of course, Teresa has a child and, and like... See, in 1995, right, compared to 2022, right, like right now, right, if Teresa was, you know, the same age she was uh, in 1995, she was the same age now, and she would have a child, she would just give that, that child um, a tablet and, you know, ignore the child. But, but back then she was giving them a game joy and ignoring them. Jesus. Jesus, Teresa, seriously? Cabinet door. Is this closed? No, it's not. Okay, toolbox. Okay. Toolbox. I, I can't take it. It would be too heavy and uncomfortable to transport. I'll pull it here above the furniture. Okay. Flathead screwdriver, wrench, meter, nails, cutter, screws, hand. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna take anything because at least we have it here. If I need anything, I'm gonna go and, and get the stuff. Alright, we got... Uh, can I solve this? No. Okay, can I put the battery in? The battery is correct. But I need two batteries to make it work. Okay. Wait, doesn't the Game Joy have a battery? Mm. No. Apparently I can't take that. Okay, that's fine. It's quite empty, this place. Go to the window. Oh! What the hell? Yes, that's a yeti. Oh, good god, what a scare. There's someone out there, or something. Fortunately, the door is locked. I'd not like to find myself in the company of that thing. Well, could be worse, Teresa. There's no one anymore. Maybe he scared himself and ran away. I mean, why not? A yeti in the Alps? Sure. Sasquatch? Actually, it would be a yeti, right? Closed. I see a lock. Maybe uh, I have to look for another key or a way to force it. You know what? One one thing that I'm gonna say in in her um, like in her praise, she's not against using force. That's a good thing. Like she 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 used you know a, a tool to force the door open kinda. Um, she's not against using force to open this door. I like it. I like it. That's the that's the right attitude, Teresa. Like when in doubt, use force. Let's see... Okay... A safe! It's closed, I have to find a combination to see what's inside. Alright, well let's look what else we got here. Mm. A pair of glasses, a compass and some sheets. Uh, well, I can pick the compass. You never know, it might be useful to me. Mm, okay... Up here? What the hell is this? A door full of snacks? Oh, someone has a sweet tooth? <laughs> I would say that these experts are somewhat greedy. I mean... Okay, I'll take one just in case I get a little hungry. Yes, I I'm a little peckish. I am a little peckish. Who doesn't want a little snack? Notepad, let's see. It's a block of... It's, a, it not, it's not a block of notes, it's a... It's a oh, Jesus. Anyway. It's full of scribbles. Elise walks on the shore of the lake. 
If you look through a mirror, it's reflection in the what on the water. You can find a treasure that hides within itself. Wait, could it be a clue to find the code to open the safe, Teresa? You're you're taking the fun out of finding solutions to clue to 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 puzzles, Teresa. If you're gonna tell me like literally, what's that for? Elise mirrored in a lake and reflected in the mirror. Okay, so Elise. I'm actually uh, like uh, writing this down. So Elise, um, it would it, in a mirror. It would be three five one seven three, probably. Let's try. By by the way, I actually used a you know the pen and paper to define this. Okay. Oh, well, let's see. So let's see three. Uh, yeah, I guess five. Three, five. Oh, no, no, it was one. Because elite, yeah, one. Sorry. Can I go back? No. One, seven, and then three. There we go. Pendant. A golden pen with strange symbols. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay, there's a lot. Okay, I, at least I can check through all the drawers. It's a computer instructions manual. I have no intention of learning computer science right now. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're not going to ask you to do that, Teresa. Come on. Hmm, a calculator, a tape roll, and a stapler, right? Oh, perforator. No, no it's not a stapler. It doesn't. No, nothing special. Just office supplies. You know, classic office supplies. You know. Hmm, cigar uh, cigarettes, lighter, chewing gum, and candies. Can I take the lighter? Yes. Right. I'm not a smoker, but the gadget, uh, but the gadget that can provide me with fire is essential. Yeah, you should have one on you already. Jesus. Jesus, Teresa. I mean, all right. Let's see what else we got. CDs. Ah, 1995. Of course, they have CDs. The CDs for the computer. From what I can see, they're programs and music compilations. Oh, like what? What type of music? Thrown here and there, but nothing really interesting. Oh, I want to see what they were listening to. 1990. What? What? Okay. Um, what music would there be in 1995? Like, so researchers. In the Italian Alps, November 1995. What do they listen to? What would be 1995? Dr. Alban, maybe? It's my life, it's my life, my problem. My... So, no, no, something like that, maybe? It's not like some techno stuff, like Euro techno, right? Probably. It's a radio. Uh, uh, this is the radio they were telling me about at Lukwa. I need to contact them and report on the station. Okay, can I? Power... Power button, okay. Um, hello? Is Teresa Moontiners here? Is there anyone listening? Pink Floyd? Oh, come on. If they were... I mean, yeah, they could, they could be listening to Pink Floyd. I was just thinking that's something more, like, more from 95. Yeah, they could be listening to Pink Floyd, definitely, yeah. Some oldies, but goldies. Batisti, really? Oh, Celentano? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Adiano Celentano, yeah, that would be funny. Uh, yeah. Albano and Romino Power. That, that, that's what they would... Yeah. They would, they would be listening to... To the to they would have like a CD San Remo 1995. <laughs> uh, Toto yeah, yeah, exactly. That'll be funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll be funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no one's list. No, no one's here. Look what! Look what! Do you copy? Uh, hey, look what! We copy the same disturb check the alignment panel 
Hey, brother. <laughs> Sorry, my, my dog is... Uh, she heard me, you know, talking as she got... Okay. They heard me, but the signal is really disturbed. It must be the storm. Well, that is, it's a pretty big storm, that to be to be sure. Uh, better try again later. So they said something about the signal. Parable, I'm guessing that's the... Um, the, the satellite dishes. Maybe that's the, the antennas. Then those are outside, so... Wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't want that. I want to use the computer. Examine computer. By now we're almost in the new millennium. Technology is having great success. Teresa, why are you talking like you're... A, a person from India just barely, you know, learning English. Oh, we are now almost in the new millennium. Technology is having great success. Great success. Many successes. Now it's show bots of the Sorry. Um, too bad that I don't have a great familiarity with these gadgets. Well, you have to get familiar with, with these, Teresa. Because in Teresa Moontiner's um, uh, 2, right? Uh, everything's gonna be set in 1998. And she will already be a Half-Life fan. Let's see if I can turn this on, even if I doubt that I'll be able to understand anything at all. Alright. Power it up. I mean, this looks pretty good, right? For, for PC in 1995, this looks really good. Right? You know, I mean, the CD, a floppy, of course. Look what, okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Examine basket. I like how it says basket. It's recycle bin. Nothing is empty. That's good. You always, always empty the recycle bin. Document folder. These are the personal cards of all researchers sent here. Okay. Mm, examine... I don't know how to pronounce this. Jabert, maybe? Balvin? I don't know. These weird names. First PC was a 486DX2. I mean, that's that was a that was quite uh, quite a PC then. DX2. What was DX2? Was it like what frequency did, was a uh, DX2? 66? No. Was it si was it 66 her uh, megahertz? Or was it lower? I don't remember. I I my first PC was way way later than that. I just know a little history. Uh, okay, let's see. Age 39. Born in Don Julien, France. Uh, he served in the Foreign Legion as a sapper. Oh, okay. That's quite um, quite intense. The for the Foreign Legion. So basically, is strong is a strong arm of the team. Right. He's the he's the muscle. Samantha Russo. Oh Jesus! Look look at her hairstyle. Yeah, okay, the X six. Yeah, yeah, because it's like because I, I think the first Pentium was like seventy five uh, megahertz uh, or yeah, I don't remember. I, I don't remember exactly. I, you know. Anyway, let's see. Samantha Russo. By the way, her hairstyle is so is so um, Euro Disco nineteen ninety five. Let's see. Age twenty five. Of course, she's younger. Obviously. Born in uh, Novi Ligere, I guess, Ligere, Italy, whatever. Geologist, okay. By the way, why would they send someone so young? Mm, so she's the geologist, which makes sense. They would send a geologist in here, right? And uh, Hams Hamsa Madel, that's a very weird name. Age 46, born in, uh, yeah, born in India. Oh, see, we have someone from India. IT expert and biologist, okay. So he's... Uh, He's a renaissance man, he, he's an ID expert and a biologist. He's responsible for the expedition, so he's the, the, the um, head of all of this. He's burdened, uh, he's burdened the most important decisions. Okay. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Notes folder. It's a diary where the moments of the various days are noted. Okay, let's read! Interesting, let's see if I can find something useful. Monday, November 13th, 1995. We finally arrived. Even if it was sunny, the weather conditions have drastically changed for the worse. I mean, it is November in the Alps, so yeah. 
Now a snowstorm rage is limiting visibility and freezing us. Jabert immediately thought about starting uh, the heating of the installation while Samantha and I started sc uh, scouring the complex. Everything is new and working. We have radio to keep in touch with Luqua, the latest generation computer with which you can control most of the mechanisms. And, and I guess there should be an end here. Alright, Tuesday, November 14th. Yesterday we were tired. The journey, the arrival installation and the storm put to the test our resistance. Put our resistance to the test. Today we are still operational, because we you know we had some Red Bulls and coffees. We prepared lunch and then went out on patrol to assess the situation. Okay. So that was like a pretty like a standard thing. Tomorrow morning we will have a hearty breakfast and then weather permitting, we will leave for the cave. The storm shows no signs of abating. Right. Wednesday, November 15th. We got up this morning, but it's impossible for us to reach the survey site. The storm is too strong and there's a risk of getting lost on the way. Although they're very close to the actual... Um, uh, to the cave, right? You know, the storm is just too bad. Uh, as the person in charge of the shipment, I contacted Lukwaf by radio and we agreed to postpone until tomorrow. In the meantime, we are settling in. You know, settling in, just, you know playing uh, Minesweeper on the computer, you know, playing the Game Boy, sorry, Game Joy. Thursday, November 16th. Finally, today, uh, we can see the sun again. Yay, the sun! The snow covered everything and we spent most of the morning shoveling it to clear the access point to the cave. In the afternoon, the expedition led by ja uh, Jabert, I guess, started. We walked a wooden walkway and the path climbs up the back of the mountain to arrive after about 20 minutes at the entrance of the cave. It was tiring because, you know, you know, hiking up a mountain basically. Uh, but we were able to do the first surveys and then return to the installation. Here the night falls early. You have to organize the time well in order to be able to spend more time up there. Right. I mean, yeah, I would, I would guess that by 5 p.m. it's already, you know, Maybe half past five, it's already dark. Friday, November, November 17th. Today the weather was clear and clean. From the cave, there's a beautiful view. Wide expanses reflect the sun. It seems to be in the middle of a silver ocean. On the skin of the face, on the skin of your face, you experience different sensations. The icy wind blowing against you, but at the same time, also the heat of the sun's rays. Unique moments. By the way, I've, I've felt something like that and it's a, it's a wonderful feeling. It's an absolutely wonderful feeling, like uh, like a very very cold day, like get like, like a very, like like zero degrees, just zero degrees uh, Celsius, right? Go outside and if it's a sunny day and like like no clouds on the sky, just a sunny day, blue skies and the sun coming like just you know coming yeah like well like coming down on you, like the rays coming down on you, right? Just stay looking at the sun and you just feel like the warmth of the sun around like uh, around your face especially like um, I, I have a memory of, of this um, like around my temple and it was like my temple was kind of burning from the sun but everything else was super cold very nice extension that's that's why I would like to go to a you know I would like to have like a, a, a winter house somewhere where there's a lot of snow and it's cold where I can have that type of feeling well you know you go outside and it's super cold but it's sound outside and it's 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 that contrast of cold and the sun which is you know heating you and giving you life basically uh, it's a very great feeling by the way if you want to help me get that um, <laughs> that winter home go to cryptichybrid.locals.com and become a supporter you'll get lots of perks along the way all right Samantha began the first studies on the rocks while uh, Yabert and I went to inside the cave that turned out to be a network of tunnels leading to the center of the mountain during the day you notice a little but uh, all the tunnels are illuminated by a reddish light of which we don't know the we do not know the origin like a play of reflections on stone walls we will investigate Hmm, precious stones? Maybe? Reddish light. Okay, Saturday, November 18th. Samantha confirmed, confirmed our assumptions. Some minerals that make up the interior of the cave and tunnels are made of um, phosphorescent, uh, like, glow-in-the-dark material, basically. We tried to go into a gallery to see where it led, but the result was to find ourselves in front of other passages. So I'm guessing there's going to be a whole maze we have to find the, you know, the right way in the cave. 
Towards the end of the day, while we were still in the tunnels, it happened to all three of us um, to perceive the presence of something. We did not see or hear anything, but we had the feeling of being observed. Uh, be that as it may, the research and survey uh, surveys are proceeding well. It is a strange cave buried in the ice for who knows how many centuries. It seems normal that the passage of time inside could stimulate curiosity in us and probably bring to the surface fears. Yeah, like the fears of finding, I don't know, a block of ice with an ancient creature that's been there for like thousands of years. And you take the creature and you want to analyze it, you get it out of the, out of the ice and then, you know, it, it jumps on one of the researchers and possesses them. Oh wait, that's the thing, never mind. Sunday, November 19th, we decided to draw up a map of the tunnels to get an overview of this labyrinth. Okay, I want that map then. We split up and uh, each of us took a step marking on a sheet the path traveled. At the end of the day, we combined the results and started drawing a first map. I contacted, uh, contacted Luqua and made a full update of the situation. Okay, I want that map. Monday, November 20th. Today the weather wasn't good, it started snowing again lightly, but this did not prevent us from continuing our research. We lost contact with Yabert all day and then found him uh, already at the installation in our return. So where was he? He told us that he had found a passage that comes out directly at the foot of the mountain and that it was impossible for him to retrace it in the opposite direction because it was too arduous and bumpy, thus deciding to return to the base and wait for us there. I don't know why, but I wasn't very convinced by what he told us. It was very vague. Most likely they're just they're just my feelings. Or or you're right to be suspicious of him. Tuesday, November 21st. By the way, this would be the 25th, right? We're on the 25th. This night has started to snow heavily and the search for uh, these passages is proving to be much more complicated than expected. Samantha uh, begins to show signs of fatigue. Yabber can no longer find the passage from which he came out yesterday. We tried to look for him, but it seems for it, but it seems to have disappeared. But I think uh, there may have never been such a passage. In any case, today we finally uh, we are finally reaching a turning point. One of the tunnels leads to a cave inside the mountain where the ice has not yet melted. When we cross the entrance to the underground cave, we perceived much stronger the feeling of not being alone. It almost seems that there, like there's someone watching us. Given the light, late hour, we decide to return to continue the search tomorrow. Wednesday, November 22nd. While the Abbott and Samantha continued their search in the tunnels, I started exploring the cave discovered yesterday. While I found a strange stick buried under several layers of snow and ice, a gigantic being appeared before my eyes. La Chupacabra! Sorry, that, that's, that's, that's in Central America or South America. No, Yeti. We have a Yeti. Actually, by the way, are there any... Because I don't... I don't... Are there, like, um... Like any, well, not sighting necessarily, but like any legends about, you know, like a, like a yeti or s type of snow creature in, in the Alps? Because when I think yeti, I always think like other areas, not necessarily, you know, the Alps. Um, and if I think Sasquatch, I think the United States, right? A strange and huge creature that apparently, uh, apparently wanders inside the cave. It's his home. It seemed to be a cross between a human and a bear. It's a furry. It's no. It's it's not. It's not the cross between a human and a bear. It's a furry, which is a human dressed. See, that's it. This is the thing. This is the mystery of um, the lair. The beast. This is the mystery of the mountain. Teresa Moontiners is going to be uh, uh, the detective who finds the very first furry in the world, and it's probably. I'm gonna say. Let me think. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a French man. Cause, Cause, this is the Alps, right? So the Alps, what it would be like? It would be like maybe Germany a little bit, France, Italy. We're 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 in northern Italy, Switzerland, and and um, Austria. Now, who would be the most perverse human in all of this in this uh, mix of uh, of ethnicities? It's either going to be a French guy or a German guy. So it's uh, you know what might be a might be a German guy. Might be a German guy, not French. Maybe a German who's who's the very first furry. Anyway, so that I'm, I'm guessing that's the thing. I'm guessing whatever we saw outside, that's the very first furry in the world, and that's a German guy who dresses like a bear. Uh, entirely covered in white fur with long, sharp claws and two eyes as blue as ice. 
the uh, meeting lasted a few seconds, but it was enough for me to understand that if the creature had attacked me, it would have been the end of me. Or for me. Of me. Of me as well. It's more poetic. Luckily, my two companions were coming, and then the bee, and when the bee saw them, it ran away. We had to be very careful from now on. In the late evening, the weather conditions have clearly worsened. Even now, a strong wind is blowing in the sky does not promise anything good. Thursday, November 23rd. Two days ago, right? Yeah, but after learning of the find, changed. He became nervous and grumpy. Well, yeah, because he's, you know. Uh, this morning, he insisted on keeping the find and the fact caught... Wait, ca keeping... Oh, the keeping the find as in the, the, the staff. And caught my attention because an expedition leader... Uh, as the expedition leader, I'm the one who has the, the responsibility to guard what is found. And he knows it very well, so he wanted the staff. I then proceeded to hide it in a secret place on the base. A quarrel broke out that suddenly subsidi uh, sub subsidized, subsided late in the evening. Subsidized is something totally different. Something is wrong. Today we did not leave the installation. After yesterday's meeting, we decided to organize ourselves and continue the research tomorrow. I tried to contact Luqua to update them on all the events and strange behavior of Yabert, but with the worsening weather conditions, I don't know what was transmitted. This strong wind must have damaged the parable for the par the, the dish, the satellite dish for transmissions. So this was two days ago. That's the last entry. All right, gate folder. It should be the application to open and close the external gate, and to turn on and off the camera too. The quality of the camera is not the best. I can just glimpse the external fence. Okay. Mm, open gate. For now, I'm not going to open the external gate. Okay. All right. Hangar folder. Uh, it speaks of remote control. By activating it, I think there's a way to control it. It's oh, opening it from the distance. Okay. Okay, and I bet you the remote control that I have that's for the hangar. Okay. 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 All right, so the hanger works, right? Or is I, I should work? Okay, should we, okay. Let, let's save first. Let's save, yeah, because we've we've um, we've done a lot. We've discovered so much. No, I refuse to go out with that thing being out there. Okay. Mm, well, it's not out there anymore. Hmm. Wait, can I use? Wait, can I use this? No. Hmm. Fan here. Ah, can I have some more? The air is not getting out of the grid. Maybe it's broken. Oh, it's not broken. No, 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 no. It's not broken. No, 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 no. It's not broken. It's not broken. Uh, I need to open it somehow. I need to open that. I need a tool. Hmm. Can I get? What should I get? Uh, flathead, maybe? Let's see. It's not broken. No, it's not. It's not broken. Can I use this? No. No useful results. So maybe it's not the flathead? No. Okay. Maybe I need a different tool? Hmm. Maybe I need a Phillips screwdriver. Okay. Can I put this back? Okay, never mind. I can't put it back. That's kind of a little bit weird. Okay. Okay, come on. Alright, let's see. Please tell me this works. No. Why does it work, though? Hmm. Obstructed grid. There's four, oh, four, sorry, that's not the one. It's the one under. Right. Okay. So wait. Four bolts. Okay. Bolts. That means. No. I. That means the the wrench. If it's bolts, right? I mean, I need a wrench then. Yeah. If it's bolts, right? I assume that's the case. Okay. 
There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Aha! Uh -huh. The strange stick found the cave. Huh. It weighs so much. What a strange stick. It's made of a particular material, perhaps stone, and has some sort of veins. Set with colorful gems that emanate a pulsing light. Looks like kind of a scepter. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh. Who are you? Oh, Yabert. Very well, Miss Moontiners. Please don't take another step. How do you know my name? Uh, exactly, yeah. How do you know my name? How is that possible? I was informed of your arrival. Better to always know who you have ahead. What? A head? That's not a right... Anyway. Who are you? My name is... Yabert... Baldwin, I guess? I'm a mercenary. But I prefer to see myself as a professional who offers their services under reward. That's still a mercenary. That's the same, you know. My client is very interested in the result of this research. And he contacted me uh, to let me infiltrate the shipment and report on the finds. Where's the rest of the team of researchers? Unfortunately, Ham, the expedition chief, after finding the specimen that interested my client, has decided to hide it. Now he and Mr. Mant are buried under a few meters of ice and rubble. What happened? A landslide? An accident? No, nothing of such kind. Ham did not want to listen to my proposal. I had to make an unpleasant choice, but I was forced to do it. Small qu quantities of explosives placed in the right points and... Farewell. It looks it will look like an accident and nobody will ever know what really happened. If they don't die during the explosion... If they didn't die during the explosion, the cold and frost will surely have... Um, have thought about it? What? You're a murderer! How is it possible to kill two companions for a few pennies? As I told you, I have a job and I'm quite good at it. But, Mrs. Moontiners, there's no need to bother. Now deliver me the scepter that you have been so kind to find. And then we'll see to find a nice place for you as well. Uh... So he wants this? Finally. Thanks to you, I'll be able to leave this place. I'll deliver the finding, I'll be able to enjoy the reward in a nice hot place. In the Bahamas! What's this stick about? It's a scepter. Probably used by a primitive tribe of creatures. Anthropomorphic. It is actually said that the tribe of these beings live in these extreme places, equipped with a thick and white fur that protected them from the cold. A specimen similar to that, uh, to what we today call Yeti. That, that, that creature, I saw it. It was outside the window and started, uh, and it stared at me. Started, well, startled me and also stared at me. Hmm, impossible. Let me explain better. After abandoning Ham and Samantha on the mountain, on the way back to the base, I had the misfortune to come across this being. As Ham had already mentioned, it's a huge beast with very sharp claws and eyes like ice. It attacked me and uh, we had a short fight, which ended immediately after shooting some bullets against it. I was injured, but I'm sure I shot it to death. It ran away. That's why, uh, that's why what you tell me seems somewhat unlikely. You surely had hallucinations. And now? What are you going to do with me? It's simple. I'll take you to the hangar, tie you up, and I'll uh, let the fate take care of you. Okay. Can I move towards the door? But I assure you, the creature was out there. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure my shooting skills. You're making up excuses to avoid going out and facing your destiny. No, listen to me. No more words. Come on, let's go to the hangar. Walk slowly and don't make any abrupt movement. As you may have noticed, I can't move as well as I should. Why would you tell me that? That's so stupid. You shouldn't tell me that. 
He shouldn't tell me that he's like, you know what? I'm actually a little incapacitated right now. I'm a little weak. It's like, no, you shouldn't. Anyway. Can I save? Yes, I can save. By the way, I like that he's not... He doesn't have any clothes on. Like, actual, like, proper clothes on. Please go a little slower. I told you to go s to slow down, Jesus. You can use the remote. You can use the remote, go inside. A few more steps, we're almost there. Stop right there, thank you. We made it. Now you can use the remote to open the doors of the hangar. Why would you do this to me? I assure you that I'd rather not do it, but unfortunately I have no alternatives. Please. Don't make me, uh, don't make me your prisoner. What? Let me go, I promise I won't tell anyone anything. Hmm. I hardly believe that. An investigator who promises to keep his mouth shut? Well, her mouth shut, so her? You're a despicable, bad and heartless person. Me, yeah, alright. And you are not the first one to tell me these things. My ex-wife said the same thing, sorry. Nothing personal, you just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, stop crying. Open the hangar's doors and enter without making a fuss. Or I'll be forced to shoot you and drag your body inside. The creature! Go, creature, go! Kill him! Get his gun! He shot it again. I think. Oh! I think he's not alive anymore. Ah, oh, he got a scepter! Oh, that's what he want- Oh, yeah, that makes sense. He wanted the scepter. As for Teresa, well... She's just a victim in all this. Wednesday, November 29th, 1996. Wait, what? Local time, 2.16. A.M.? The icy wind whistles among the branches overlapping the audience dates of night animals, while everything seems calm in this valley. Loud noises come from the research installation. Wait, 96? We're one year later? Teresa falls to the ground, hit by a loose bullet. While well, Yabert sees his pa his past passing his life passing before his eyes, does it all end here? Well, no, obviously, because and yet here it all begins. The actual adventure. It would be funny if it, if it just uh, <laughs> if it just like um, like it stopped here. It's like that's it. Thank you for playing. Like what? Oh, he's saving us. He's taking us to the cave. He's a nice yeti. I mean, to be fair, we weren't exactly injured. He could have just left. He would have put us in the in the bunker, right? And just left us there because it was warm. We would wake up and we would leave. He didn't have to bring us here. We weren't injured, so. I 
think that maybe he's not that friendly then. That this is kidnapping? Yeti, let me I'll, I'm going to let you know this is kidnapping. Okay? You're kidnapping me right now. I know you mean well, but this is kidnapping. What are you doing with that? What are you doing with that? What? What? What did he do? Did he put the devil in me? Wrapped in this mysterious atmosphere, Teresa wakes up. She slept for who knows how many hours. Lulled by the melody of the wind dancing between the stone tunnels. Why did that being spared her? Well, because she wasn't a threat. That's why. Why did he use the stick's power on her after rescuing her? Well, he didn't rescue me, he kidnapped me. Perhaps it's not true that the beast uh, can't feel emotions. Well, depending on the type of emotions. Where am I? Uh, that, that headache. What is this place? The last thing I remember was Yabber training me with a gun. Then that creature appeared and they started fighting and... And then Yabber fired some bullets. Oh, she was hit! Okay. Okay, she was hit. I fell to the ground in pain and... Then that being approached me. But I must have passed out because I don't remember anything anymore. Just some scattered memories. But if I was hit, how is it that I have no wounds? I also feel quite good. What a strange situation. Now I have to understand where I am and try to get out of here. Yeah, at least we have all, everything we we took with us. Uh, hmm. There's stone set in the rock. To give off a light, uh. Uh, a light reddish light? Jesus Christ. Christ. Reddish <laughs> Christ. So wait, they give off a light reddish light lighting up the room. It's like, come on, just one light per sentence, please. Uh, they look like rubies, but to be honest, I'm not well informed on precious stones. Well, there was a geologist uh, in, in the expedition, so maybe if we find her. Can I use anything? Can I get... It doesn't seem to work. Examine. Nothing happens. Maybe I need a pickaxe or something. Uh, all right. Yeah, maybe I need a pick. Oh, sorry. No, resume. No. Doesn't change. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. Is there anything in this direction? No. Wait. Lit holes. Huh. There's some holes in the wall from which a light filters. Uh, the stone at this point seems worn, perhaps leveraging with something. Leveraging with something? Okay, let me try the hook bar. Ah, okay. A tunnel. Here's where the light is coming from. Let's see if I can squeeze myself into it and see where it leads. This hooked bar that I assemble happens to be rather useful. And if I ever get back home safe and sound, I'll put it in the display ca display case and keep it from uh, like a precious object. Or or you can get the ruby like stones and you can sell those. Well, keep one and then sell the others, and you're gonna be rich, Teresa, rich. Okay. Here, I'll put a foot here. Voila. We're done. Come on. Such narrow tunnels. Well, they were probably not made for humans, so let's hope they won't get uh, they won't get anything any tighter. Otherwise, I risk getting stuck in here. Also, she has claustrophobia. Better use a lighter to see where I where I'm going. Oh, but I don't have one battery already inserted. I need one more to make the flashlight work. 
Yeah, I don't have that. We don't match. Okay, okay. So, uh, cram tunnel. Okay, can I go? I can't go back. Okay, dark tunnel. I'd rather have a source of light before continuing. Um, too dark. Can I go back? Yes. Because maybe I need to find a battery. That's the thing. No? What are you doing? Hmm. Oh, from the remote, right? They don't match. Wait, no, open it. They don't match. They don't match. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, let me save. A new save this time. Mm. Oh, the lighter. I can use the lighter as the light. Yeah. Uh, tight tunnel, cramped or dark. Let's go dark. Huh. Nothing in here. Frozen, mysterious tunnel. Let's go to the frozen because there's some. Uh... I mean, who knows? We'll see. We'll see what we find. The frozen tunnel. Mm. Misty tunnel. Frozen. Stinking tunnel? Stinking? Oh, it smells of what? Oh, dead bodies, maybe? The researchers? Oh, going down! <laughs> Stinking tunnel. Yeah, it might be like animal corpses or something. At least I still fit. That's good, right? Oh, another one? Okay. Hmm. Low tunnel, lit tunnel, coal tunnel. Coal tunnel. Hmm. Dusty tunnel, scary, a scary tunnel. Why not? I can face my fears. I can go to the scary tunnel. I'm not scared. Well, I am a little bit, but I mean, this is very maze-like. But we have to get somewhere eventually. Okay, that's a long ass tunnel. Hopefully, it's gonna be more than another intersection. Of course, another intersection. Uh, of course. Cramped tunnel, misty. Okay, cramped tunnel. Um, I need a tunnel in order to make a map. Ah, okay. Hmm. I mean, it would be cool if she could make a map while well, as she's going, but she doesn't have uh, a pen and paper. She's a detective, and she doesn't have a pen, pen and paper on her. Jesus, Teresa, what type of detective are you? She came here with nothing. I mean, this is unacceptable. She's very unprepared, very unprofessional. For a paid job, this is a paid job. It's not like she stumbled onto all this. Hmm. She was she t she took the job so I may have gone around in circles. Maybe if I take note of where I've already been, I can easily draw a map of these tunnels. Okay, well, you don't have anything to note, so okay. So, n so north is that way? Sorry. Dark tunnel, tight tunnel. Let's, uh, let's go into the tight tunnel. The very, very tight one. Use a player, you can make a map. Really? 
Oh, you can't have a, an in-game map? So what I get another freaking I mean usually I don't mind using like um you know actually using some pen and paper for stuff. Uh misty tunnel. Hmm but there's nothing here. Let's see. So okay, let's let's make so this is one um one screen, right? With three uh, exits. One is Misty towards the right, then this one is the Scary. Um, and this is the Cramped. Okay. Okay, let's go to the Cramped one. So we're going to the left. Okay, so that's okay. So we're one here. Okay. To so the cramped one, right? So we went. Okay. And I'm gonna connect the all the stuff together and see what what happens. I have a little post-it though, so I might need a bigger piece of paper. We'll see. We'll see how. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see. I wish it went fast a little bit. Okay. So, so from the cramped one, right, we get to to another place that has the tight tunnel, the starting tunnel, and the dark. Okay. So, up is starting. Uh, starting tunnel. Then uh, leftwards is dark, and then downwards is tight tunnel. Okay. Okay. So I'm not gonna go to. I'm gonna go to the dark tunnel this time. Not because uh, it's the starting tunnel. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. So we've been here kinda. So this is. Um, the, okay, so w where we are here, from the dark tunnel, we go into the frozen and mysterious, but then uh, it's it's hard to make. You know why it's hard to make a map, a physical map, because like you enter to the right and then you exit to the left and then. Uh, then you have to make it like inverted and like okay great so da okay dark tunnel okay so you go there mysterious um, mm, yeah I need a bigger paper mysterious and up there it's frozen so frozen okay uh, okay frozen on oh, let's go to the mysterious one right because mysterious sounds a bit more um, like, I don't know, something that may bring us somewhere. I don't know, we'll see. This goes up. Mm. Mysterious. We live in mysterious times. That's, what, 97, 98? Sasha, mysterious times? Come on. We're in Europe. We're... Of course we're supposed to know these things, kind of. Alright. Okay. Wow. What a huge cave. Okay. So the mysterious one takes you... 
to some sort of exit. I'm gonna write it down, okay. That is a huge cave. Wait, people are down there. Oh, the other scientists! It's really incredible and fascinating that nature is able of creating uh, what nature is cre able to, of creating over the years. Yeah, have you seen what people can create over the years? Uh, never mind. I think I can see two people over there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the other scientists, Samantha and Ham. And if I'm not mistaken, they should be Ham and Samantha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still alive. But there's no way I can reach them from here. Better to go back and look for another way. Hmm. Okay. Can I throw something at them? Oh, I can't, because it's not... Okay. Hmm. Okay, so the mysterious tunnel is like... It's not an exit, it's like um. It's like, I'm gonna put Vista exit, because you can look, you can't do anything else. Vista being like, you know, like, um, okay, so it's the Vista exit. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the Frozen then, um, to, to the Frozen tunnel next. Let's see what that takes us. So we have the, towards the starting tunnel, we have the tight, the cramped, the misty, the, what the hell did I read, right here? Scary, the scary one. Scary, it's scary. The scary one, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the... No, Frozen, I said. Yes, Frozen Tunnel. Let's see where the Frozen Tunnel takes us. Frozen... Okay. Now. Everything looks the same. I think I got lost. It would be reasonable to draw a map as I move inside these tunnels. Well, guess what? I'm gonna say something like, anyway. In 2022, we have in-game maps, but anyway, okay, so, from the frozen tunnel, right, we go into the stinking tunnel, uh, wait, tight, okay, 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 so, okay, so tight goes in here, right, misty, okay, so, misty, uh, okay, so I'm connecting the two, and then we have... Um, the the tight right? St no, no stinking. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So we have tight tunnel. The wait. No stinking frozen. Okay, yeah, tight, which connects us to dark, cramped, and starting. We have the misty, that connects us to the scary and the cramped tunnels. And we have the stinking one, which I don't stinking. Okay, let's go to the stinking one. And that takes us stinking. We've been through there, I just don't remember where it takes us. Okay. Maybe I should just go to the starting tunnel and then, then go back. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So I have like, uh, with the Vista exit, I have one, two, three, four, five, at least five areas, five, uh, okay. All right, cool. So the stinking one, okay. The stinking one takes us to lit, okay, great, uh, low and cold. So three of them, which we haven't seen before, okay. So let's go, oh, Jesus Christ, I need a huge, okay. Okay, so let's go, let's go, say, okay, let's say this one is lit. So lit, yo. We have, we have the lit one, the bus in one. No, and the, no, never mind. Okay, lit. Uh, this one is gonna be low. And I'm gonna put another one here that, that comes up here. And this one is the cold. Cold. Okay. Cold. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Cold tunnel. Low. Let's go for the for the uh, lit tunnel. Cause lit means I don't know. Maybe there's an unnatural light. Okay. Okay. The lit tunnel. What is that? This thing. Lower down. Lower. Closer to them. From here, I can see uh, uh, Ham and Samantha well, but it's dangerous to get off from this position. Okay, so we're closer to them, but we're still... Okay, so we need to get somewhere, okay. 
If the foothold is wrong, I risk ending up at the bottom of the precipice. Better go back and try another tunnel. Okay, so we need to reach them. Okay, okay. So, so the lit tunnel, right, brings us to um, another vista exit. Okay. So, let's go back and let's try the low tunnel. And maybe the low tunnel takes us further down. You know? Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, maybe that's the thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, low tunnel. If not, maybe the, the cold one? We'll see. Let's see where the low one takes us. I mean, it would make sense that the low one would maybe take us lower. You're out of luck. There are four exits and only one is the correct one. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll find it eventually. I mean, I wish I could make an in-game map, though. That's just, it's like... Even myself who don't mind like having like a physical thing like to like you know using the real world physicality to to solve puzzles. I'm not the biggest fan of um, drawing maps. In this case, it's a dead end. If I continue this way, I risk falling into the. Okay, so low. Okay, so low is vista. Uh, vista under. Okay. So it's under them. Okay. Okay, okay. So, we go back. So, I'm gonna take the only uh, path from there, which is the cold one. Maybe the cold one is gonna take us somewhere. Yeah. Okay, we found three out of three exits. Okay, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll find the other. Like, there's one more. Because, you know, uh, the scary... I still have the scary tunnel, right, that I go through. And I'm, I'm going to the cold tunnel now. We'll see. We'll see where that takes us. And the starting one makes sense where we're... And that takes us to the beginning. So it's fine. It's still. Um, I need to save this map. I need to keep it. All right. Let's go to the cold one. Okay, cold tunnel. There we go. Let's see where this one takes us. Is it another intersection? Is it something else? Okay, another intersection. Okay. Okay, cold. So cold takes us to another. Okay, so cold we have scary tunnel. So it connects to the scary tunnel. Okay, good. Um, goes to the dusty tunnel, which we haven't checked yet. Dusty tunnel. Uh, scary and there's nothing here, right? No, there's nothing here. So it's. It's cold where we exited. Let me just connect these things. Okay, so so if we go to the scary one, we'll connect to the misty and the cramped. Okay. Now the dusty tunnel we haven't been, so let's take the dusty tunnel. The dusty one. Alright! An exit! Nice! Okay, cool. So that's the exit. There we go. Uh exit. Alright. From here, uh, I can lower myself and reach the path. Let's hope to get uh, to get an exit from this cave. Nice, but they're still very far down. You'd think that I would get next to them, but maybe no. Okay, well, <laughs> to the path. Okay. I wonder what happens if I just scream at them. It's like, hey guys, and then like you know, there's a you know snow falling and it's gonna bury us alive. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Okay. Okay, Theresa, you're out. Actually, let's save after this. Wait. Oh, no, I see them. I know where they are. We just have to get to them. I get it. Yeah, they're cold. Okay. Oh, autosave in progress. Well, you know what? Autosave. I'm also going to do a manual save. There we go. Mm. I'm going to be like, Marco, Paula. Sorry. Can I slide down to the landslide? No. I mean, technically I could, right? Uh, Samantha? Han? Uh, I can hear a voice. A voice? Who is it? Help! Help! We're here! Help us, please! I heard someone calling us, but I can't see anyone. Better use the lighter so that I'll I'll see where I'm going. Really? Uh, okay. But we can't go down. Look up there! I see a light! Uh, help us! 
We've been stuck here for several days and we're freezing. My name is Teresa Muntainers. I'm a private investigator and I was sent by Luqua. Since we stopped receiving updates on the expedition, we assumed the worst. I'm happy to see you. How are you two? Well, they're starving and cold. I'm cold and I haven't eaten for days. See, exactly. Please, please help us get out of here. Hmm. Of course, Amanda. I have to look for a way to get up to, uh, uh, get you up here. Hmm. Maybe we have a chance. Uh, you should take the rope in my backpack. It's uh, long enough to climb up to the top. Okay, where's your backpack? Very good. Um. I just have to find your backpack. I hope it's not in the tunnels. I don't see any backpack here, though. No, it's not in this cave. I left the backpack in the cave where we started the surveys. It's a cave without natural lighting. There we set up some lamps to see better. I got it. If you show me the direction, I'll try to reach it and look for the rope. Yes, it's not far from here. You must take the first cave on your left. And, okay, wait. So, left, left cave. Okay. And after something like 100 meters, you'll get there directly. Oh, okay. You, ca you can't go wrong. It's the only cave you can get to. Okay, okay, nice. One last thing, Teresa. Make sure you uh, to always have a source of light that lights up the path. It's dangerous here. One misstep is enough to get down, uh, down the precipice. And please, please hurry up. Right. So cave on the left. So it's on this side. I like how she's running. It's like, maybe you shouldn't run. Just maybe you shouldn't run. Just, just, you know, just a thought. Shady tunnel. Oh, come on. Why is it shady? Why is it shady? It's just a tunnel. Okay, I see some lights. See, the, the flash would have been very good here. Very useful. It should be the correct tunnel. Let's try to go on. Uh, okay, just be careful. I'm trying to walk relatively slowly, just in case there's something on the floor. Oh, never mind. Never mind. She walks on her own now. Walking on my own, my own, my own. Whoa, this is lovely here. Huh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Was there... What was that? Was something. The ravine. No. No, I want here, right? So, yeah, to the lit cave, right? Yeah. Not to the ravine, because I need to get the backpack. And if it's the lit cave, then that's where the backpack should be. Okay. Is this safe around here? I don't know. I have a feeling that something's gonna collapse on me. Okay, there we go. There it is. This is definitely the cave they found. They told me about. Now I have to find the backpack and take the rope. Okay, just be careful, alright? Don't fall. Because I see there's something down here. Construction site bed. Okay. There we go. Zoom in. Examining backpack. There we go. Here's the rope. Now I can help Samantha and Ham. Then we'll finally get out of this place. Whereas the backpack is full of other of these particular stones. Too heavy for me to transport. Well, that I'm. You know what? I'm not here for the for the stones. So, I'm here for the rope. Well, for the you know to see what happens to the people. Happen to the people. Hmm. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't get that. These tools are used for stone extraction. There's a miner helmet. I could use it to shed some uh, light with a lighter. Cannot. Hmm. There's no light. What a shame. It would have been really useful. See, if I had, if I had, um, if she kept 
the um, the duct tape, I would have taken the helmet, right? I would have taken the helmet and uh, you know put uh, put the light, uh, the flashlight on the on the helmet. Incredible! If you don't see it, you won't believe it. This ruby is huge. Perhaps I start to understand why there's so much interest behind this expedition. Mm, yeah. Okay, anything else? Chests. More rubies, right? Some chests overflowing with stones. Uh, if this kind of uh, rock has any value, there, there's a fortune in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna take anything. Let's see the card here. Here's a professional microscope. I think it's used to analyze these luminescent stones. I'm not an expert, but from what I can see, it looks like this stone is alive! What the hell? That looks interesting. Wait, can't I see anything else here? Okay, well we got we got the the rope, right? Lighthouse. It's not a lighthouse though. It's a projector powered with batteries similar to those of cars. They're lit. If uh, the research uh, they were doing here uh, had been unexpectedly interrupted. Okay. Okay, so we got the rope. I wonder if I can go down here. No, I can't. Okay. Alright. We know where to go. Right? If the camera is gonna follow already? Thank you, camera. Thank you. Can you go faster? There we go. There we go. Oops, sorry. To the cave. Come on. Let's get the peeps. Go to ravine. Right. Whoa. It's really deep. Better be careful where, where I put my feet. Damn, that is... Jesus. That is scary. That is pretty scary. Okay. Come on, let's get to them. I hope no yet is gonna attack me. Just saying. Just saying. Shady tunnel. <laughs> Poor tunnel. There's, there's, there's nothing. It's just a tunnel. It's like called shady. Why? There's nothing shady about it. It's just a tunnel. Just a freaking tunnel. Okay, let me see. Can I go around all this thing? Wait, let me just see really quick. If it goes all around, or on the ravine, and I guess to the cave where I came out of, I'm guessing. Okay, that's a tunnel. Oh, is that the tunnel that I came out of? Okay, yeah, okay, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's the tunnel I came out of. Okay, cool. No, 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 this is the tunnel I came out of. Oh, so that's a diff different tunnel, never mind. That's a different tunnel, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this this is where I came out of. So there's another. Okay. And we're probably gonna get uh, go through that tunnel. Maybe find the exit through there. All right. Samantha. Ham. Risa, uh, you already here? Did you find the rope? Yeah. Just where you pointed me. Oh, great. Great news. Now throw one end of the rope towards us. Samantha will go up first. Then once up, you two are going to hold my weight. Well, hopefully, has, hopefully I can. I mean, she's you know how how heavy could she be? A twenty-five year old. Uh, careful, the rope's coming. I mean, it's just a rope. They're gonna get hit and die. Wow. Okay, that that's a long ass rope. Hold! Hold, Teresa, hold! Hold the door! Sorry, hold the rope! Sorry. If funny, it would be funny if she just slid back. It's getting too heavy now. She's fine. Don't let go of the rope, okay? It would be fine. Thank you. Thank you. You saved our lives. Well, wait. Slacks. Not yet. Not yet. 
Um, I'm still here. <laughs> Poor guy. Let's not forget Ham. Come on, one last effort. Come on. Easy. Easy does it, come on. We're good. By the way, if you like the live stream, give it a thumbs up real quick. It does help out a lot. It's a nice gesture. It doesn't cost one thing. We just rescued two people out of the ravine. They were going to die. That that deserves a like. And, of course, a subscription. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Because this is the best gaming channel online. I hardly thank you, Miss Teresa. Or Mrs. Mrs. How do you know she's a Mrs.? How do you know that? Teresa, you're incredible. The right person at the right time. Well, could have been here a few days earlier, but yeah. Thanks, Ham. I'm really happy to have been able to help you. After Yabbard's words, I lost hopes and uh, hopes and hope instead. Yabbard? Where's that imposter? Falls? Double games? If I take it, what? Uh, Samantha, learn how to speak first and then talk to us? Calm down, Samantha. First, it's better to be sure uh, if it really was him. He attracted us here with an excuse, and then there was an explosion. We fell into this ravine, losing consciousness, and we no longer had any news. I'm almost sure it was the work of Yabbard. Yes, after the artifact was found, he started behaving strangely. I do had a bad experience with him. He threatened me with a gun, and he took the strange luminescent stick. Damn, this isn't good at all. That stick in the wrong hands can be very dangerous. Don't worry, I don't think Yabber will cause any other problems. Why? What happened? Hmm. Yabber didn't have, uh, didn't have what he hoped. He found himself face to face with that being. Now, I'll tell you how it went. I arrived thanks to the helicopter made available, uh, made available by Luqua in the middle of a, a snowstorm. Oh, she's telling all the whole story, right? And that creature, after tearing the scepter from Yabbard's hands, turned to me, then I lost some, my sense and I woke up in this place. But I don't understand what happened. I remember having been wounded, but now I feel good and have no injury. Hmm. Ancient scriptures speak of the scepter and its powers. It is said to have healing properties, and that it was used by the sorcerers of the ancient ethnic groups to heal the wounds of the hunters who returned after hunting. Well... Yes, I, we, we get it. Hunters return after hunting, right. If you're saying that... Uh, are you, so are you saying that Yet is a sorcerer and used the powers of the scepter on Teresa? It could be possible. I just don't get why the Yeti would do it. Why did it help Teresa? Well, I propose to continue this speech once at the installation. Maybe in front of a nice cup of hot tea? Yes, that would be nice. Ah, yes, it would be great. To be honest, I'm really starving. I feel like uh, uh, I feel like I start lacking my strength. I have to eat something, or I could pass out. Samantha, come on! You have to resist. Uh, uh, to resist, so we reach the installation. Sadly, the road is still long. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. I'm hungry. You haven't grabbed a bite for days. I can still resist, but I don't think Samantha will. It's okay. Let's. Uh, I have a snack for you. Here. Maybe I have something that can help you. It's not much, but it's okay, you know. Uh, but it will give you the necessary energy, or at least I hope so. The snacks that Ham keeps hidden in the desk drawer? Uh, no, I don't keep them hidden. Let's say I like to, to, on, to munch on something when I'm on the computer. However, we are, uh, they're fine, uh, then they're my favorites. Wait, what? Okay, never mind. Just. Seal bars with banana pieces and double chocolate coverage? Wow. Yeah, I like sweets. Mm -mm -mm. The, these bars are excellent. I remember. Tastes everything better. Incredible. I've never seen someone eat so greedily. Greedily, not greedy. Because it's greedy is like the. T anyway. God only knows the envy I feel. Seeing Samantha eating that bar. I feel you. Why don't, uh, why don't you uh, split it in half? Mm. Too late, I finished it! You're dancing now? Uh, what's going on? What? 
What's wrong? Are you sick? No. When she's happy, she turns on. Uh, it's it's he it's he, she it's a she anyway. Uh, her mo Walkman starts dancing. That's. Now talk to her. You have to raise your voice. Uh, Samantha, are you okay? Samantha. Samantha. Uh, yep. Sorry to bother you. Everything's fine. Can we talk? Oh, of course. What are we waiting for? What can I say? This is the way she is. Younglings these days. Good. Now we can leave. Theresa, you have a source of light. Uh, and so you'll show us the way. Samantha and I will follow you. I'll uh, show you which path to take, though, as we go further. In addition to the tunnel that leads to the dig, there's a tunnel at the end of this cave. That's the right way to exit. Yes, I know it. Come on. Come on, follow me! Follow Theresa, 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 Theresa. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ, the way they... The way, actually, the way Samantha uh, runs is funny. Huh. There we go. Windy tunnel. The windy tunnel is the exit. Hopefully, it's good. It would be funny if I if I reach another um, intersection. Like, windy. Then. Okay. Hmm. Here there are very strong air streams. The flame of the light are burned out. Unfortunately, what I feared the most what happened? The light of flame is too weak to stay on. These air streams are too powerful. But continuing in the dark is not reasonable. We must uh, see where we're going. I have an idea. We go back to the pit's cave uh, to recover my um, spiologist helmet. It's equipped with a battery power light bulb. No, I'm sorry, but when I took the rope, I noticed the helmet too and I thought it could be useful. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The battery was dead. Hmm, now that I think about it, when he ever uh, called us, I placed the helmet on the ground and... Oh, uh, I forgot to turn off the switch. How stupid I was. Come on, Samantha, don't beat yourself up. We'll find another solution. And when, when, when he says we'll find, means me. I'll find another solution. Okay. So I need a battery from somewhere, basically. Or, or, can we carry some stones with us? Hmm. Maybe if we can get some, uh... Or we can carry one of those, um... Light fixtures. Fixtures. Why not? The shady tunnel. Why not? We can get that. It's, you know, it's portable, kind of. It's worthless going back to the pit. The only thing I found was the rope. Really? Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Nothing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a little bug here. Okay, there we go. We're free now. Okay, so assuming I can't go back to the previous... Or can I? I don't think I can, though. No, I can't. I can't go back here. Hmm. Talk to Samantha, let's see. Hello, Sammy. Samantha, I would like to ask you some questions. Mm. Samantha, I know you're an expert in this field. What can you tell me about these strange red rubies? Oh, indeed, these stones may let uh, may let think and wait M may look uh, as rubies uh, in uh, unexperienced eyes. But after a deeper look, I can say with certainty that this is a 
rubellite, very similar to ruby, uh, with which is some, which it's sometimes confused with. The difference between the two, the two stones lies in the families to whom they belong. In fact, the ruby belongs to the branch of a corundrums, sure, and therefore it's one of the hardest minerals, uh, whereas the um, rubellite belongs to the tourmalite family, which is like a br like um, like um, like a softer stones, right? A softer, yeah, softer mineral, but still capable of depositing, uh, decomposing a ray of light that crosses it. But during this research, I noticed a, pe a peculiarly a specific feature that makes me think of a new specimen. This is the uh, this is the activity of the particles that make up this gem. So it is accentuated and frenetic to make this particular type of stone visible in the dark and capable of illuminating what uh, has next to it. It is an incredible discovery. These stones, if I can uh, call them that, are magical. Okay. What do you think of the Yeti? I didn't see it. I only heard the uh, stories of Ham, and it was enough to be afraid if, even, even if I ever had to meet it. <sighs> the only, uh, only the thought of it makes me sick or frightened. I really hope I never have to. I don't know how I would react. Okay. Thanks for the chat. Now, Ham, maybe Ham has some solutions? Uh, no. No. Okay, so maybe it's something in there. Wait, go away. Because if I can't go back down, right? And it's something in the tunnel here, right? The windy tunnel. Hmm. But is there nothing? Okay, so the light is okay. Uh, I have an idea. We could go back to the pit's cave, recover. No, that's not. That doesn't work apparently. Hmm. Okay. But is there anything here in this tunnel now? Without a light source, I'm not going anywhere. I have to look for another way to get out of here. So they can't go back? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, there's not a lot of options, really. tunnel because if I can't get I can't go to the shady tunnel back okay so I can't go back there okay let's let's leave that this okay so I can't go back to there that's fine well it's not fine but it's what it is so maybe there's something in in the ravine that they left behind okay I'm just looking in case I miss something. Use of the torch. Okay, but I don't have a torch. Or the torch is the... Is a lighter. That you can't go through the tunnel. I don't get why would you. The rope. Why wouldn't it. Why wouldn't it let you? No, the flash. Okay, the flash, but I don't have batteries for it. Um, wait, does anyone have batteries for the light? Because the remote control doesn't have batteries. Right? No. Hmm. 
Okay, so... Hmm... No, because this doesn't have anything. Pendant. Where's the battery? Well... Oh, the fucking bitch with her fucking... Okay. Uh... Yeah. Uh, Puran Puran? Oh, Jesus Christ, she listens to Duran Duran. I go crazy for the, uh, the singer, Simon. Uh, wonderful voice and such a physique. I mean, it's 1995. Duran Duran is like, it's like already like a very old band. Well, very old. It's an older band by that time, right? Come on. My first song is Abnormal World. I don't know what play that is because I don't know that, that many Duran Duran songs. Uh, I'm not kidding. I do listen to that song at least 20 times a day. Uh, thanks to the Walkman and the headphones, I can appreciate it in every aspect. Luckily, before leaving this vision, I had the intention of buying some special batteries. Really, ordinary world. Okay, I don't remember that song. Um, special batteries. That's it's like alkaline ba uh, alkaline batteries or something. Um, okay. I need a battery. Well, I need one battery. Wait a moment. Did you say batteries? Of course, they're batteries with a titanium reinforced lithium composition. They're gonna make. Uh, like big batteries for phones after this in, in a few years they have a uh, sensational long life hmm Samantha would you mind showing me one of those batteries because perhaps if it's as I hope the uh, lighting problem may be solved and of course I have to let go of my music which is very sad you can let go of your music you're you're a 25 year old geologist Samantha you can let go of your music for a little while okay you can you know, you know you're the, the, the real world is outside of your music. Alright. Jesus Christ. Okay, power- I like how it says power on it, come on. Yes, it's right, it fits the flashlight perfectly. Now the flashlight should work. Alright, I totally forgot that she had the freaking Walkman. I thought that, uh, like, I, I didn't think that I would have to get stuff from the people. Because I'm the detective here, I should have everything on me. I mean, the fact that she didn't have a flashlight on her from the beginning, that's a problem. That's like, that's that's on her, that's on Teresa. By the way, very, very, very unprofessional when it comes to, you know, um, uh, when it comes to her behavior, Teresa. Very unprofessional. She doesn't have a gun, she doesn't have mace, she doesn't have battery, she doesn't have a, she doesn't have, um, like a, a fire starter, she goes in, in the freaking, you know, Alps, you don't have a fire starter, what would happen, you know? Worm clothes, nothing. Very, very unprofessional, very unprofessional. Now with the flashlight, we can c finally continue, well, that's ham, yes. At in in this intersection, if we continue straight, we'll get to a dead end. To get out, we have to take the path to my left. Whereas the route at my right hasn't been explored yet. Okay. Okay. Well, so this way, right? Yep, that's the path that will lead us to the exit. And then we're out. You're giving me back the battery which needs to be put back in the cassette player though, right? Of course, Amanda. As soon as we get to the installation, I will return the battery to you. So you can listen to the music you prefer again. That's a very odd speech, but okay, like a dialogue line. Now let's go. The, this doesn't look like the exit to me, Ham. Where the hell is the exit, dude? Very good. A hundred meters more and we'll be out of these caves. Then we'll have to face the external path to get into the installation. And finally, we'll be able to refresh ourselves and rest. And I'll be able to get my battery back. Battery back. Back, back. No, battery back. You'll give me the battery, right? Right? This is like that meme with... Um... She didn't answer, did she? What did I say wrong? Girl... You're... There's something off with you. Oh no! And now? Ah, oh, crap. Guys, come here. I think there might be a problem. 
Scheiße. Okay, we're gonna have to take the, the path that was unexplored. I hear everything collapse. There's something telling me that it's not a natural landslide. I have a feeling that Yabert is behind this. Well, he's dead, yeah, and right now, so it doesn't matter. This way, if we had survived... He made sure that we had no way of exiting. Hmm. Are there no other ways out? The only chance we have is to go back into the tunnel that we haven't explored yet and hope that leads to another exit. Oh boy. And goodbye, battery. Samantha. What? What do they say now? Oh boy. Great. Well. To the gallery. Is it the gallery though? Alright. If going into the unknown is the only possibility we have, let's do it. And let's hope to get out of here. Samantha? Ham? Let's go! Hello? Come on! What if we meet the creature? I don't know. You fight it then. You, you, we're gonna put some music on and then uh, you'll see Samantha. Everything will be fine. Ah, right. I hope the battery lasts a long ass time. I really hope so. Uh, this is like, I mean, we're going down. Now, resigned and incredulous. The group reluctantly decided to go towards the unexplored. Outside, it's still daytime. You can tell from the beams of light that filter into the wounds of the rock. But alas, the hopes begin to fade. While continuing towards the heart of the mountain, they abandon, leaving behind the only safe path to the outside. Boy, into the unknown. Can I get some rubies at least along the way? Maybe Samantha can sing to us, you know, to keep the mood up and the creature behind them. Oh, it's the. It looks like a jaw, right? Uh, kinda, right? Like the wolf's head? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. It'd be funny to be like, you know, but they're not alone. It'd be funny if the, the creature would, like, there would be multiple creatures coming down, running towards them. Well, still in the caves. Uh, so hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Sorry. From the sound I hear from below, I have a feeling that it's lava. So the only chance we have is to head upwards. But we just... Uh, we must continue hoping that this path will bring us up there. Where I see... Where I seem to see a light. Hmm. Come on, we must continue and let's hope to be lucky. Oh boy. Come on. Isn't it that path? No, it's in this way? Okay, sorry. Come on, guys! What are you doing? I get that it's not a good situation, but staying here admiring lava doesn't help us. Right. Samantha, come on, let's go. Hmm? What? Yeah, I'm coming. I was enchanted. Enchanted. The path is pointing up. This is a good thing. Enchanted. Yes, but it's a very it's very steep and difficult. It's not a problem for us, we're used to these difficulties. That may be, but I'm struggling. Yeah, but you're the only one who ate in the last few days. 
there. Here the road comes up. Yep, we're heading towards the top. That's for sure. I feel it's the right path. Yeah, also because there's no other roads. Samantha! Come on, Samantha. Don't be so pessimistic. You'll see everything's gonna be fine. It's true. You're right, Ham. But at the moment, I don't see anything to rejoice. There's an organization that uh, we don't even know who sends hitmen to stop our research. We're wandering aimlessly within this mountain, between cramped tunnels and cliffs, in which a ferocious and mysterious creature is around, of which we have little information. And the worst thing is that I can't even use my Walkman, because its original batteries are now used for the fl By the way, okay, see this? Like, why would you write something so... Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, okay, I get exposition, but this isn't exposition, this is like, because the original batteries are now used for the flashlight, it's like, okay, I'm the player, or anyone, okay, anyone who gets to this point of the game, right, they play the game, they know where the batteries is, they don't need an NPC to tell them, oh, um, I don't even have my Walkman, like, yes, I know why you don't have your Walkman, I understand, because I took the battery beforehand, you don't have to say, like, you're a freaking... Um, minus like 15 IQ character because its original batteries are now used for the flashlight like, like yes I know that I took the batteries I talked to talk to you about them you don't have to let's say that out loud this is like like this is like you're missing freaking chromosomes here halfway to the game okay I want to shut up Samantha because she's annoying Samantha, except for the last part, I can't blame you. Qu quit this negative attitude of yours and try to react. Try to react? Just think that when we get out of here, you can go back to your normal life, listen to your favorite songs, and this experience will only remain a memory. And don't forget the discovery we made. Being able to make it public will be able to improve many things. Yeah, who gives a fuck about that? Jesus Christ, Ham. You think, you think she cares about that? By the way, I'm a little disappointed by Samantha, right? I mean, she's a young geologist, she, like, this is a, this, a new discovery, she should be so excited, like, oh my god, if we, we if we escape this, I'm gonna be famous, I'm gonna have, I, I'm gonna have maybe some, like, like, uh, I'm gonna write papers, and I'm gonna be invited to, like, speak at, at, you know, conventions, and I'm gonna write a book about this whole thing, and it's gonna be whole, like, and she's like, oh, I can't play my walk, man, boo hoo hoo, it's like, come on, Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's move on because this is uh, okay. Can we move now? Can we move? Okay, you're right. It's time to stop whining. It was time time to stop whining, like uh, half an hour ago. Shut up. It's about time to show everyone who Samantha Russo really is. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, now you're going in front. Oh my god. A great speech. Thanks, Teresa. Ham, your words uh, your words beautiful too. <laughs> I like I, again. I like how it's like the the translation sounds like it's it's made by a, like a, an Indian guy. It's like, "Ham, your words beautiful too." Now send Bob's and Virgin, beautiful lady. Samantha's young. Yeah, she is young, but still, in this situation, it's not the best condition in which she should be. Well, no one in this situation would be in the in the best condition. That that makes sense. But you like you don't whine like a like a you know like a spoiled fourteen year old brat, right? You behave like a fucking 25-year-old geologist, like you went through some stuff, right? You're not, you know, you're fully right, but now we continue. Otherwise, we risk losing her. Yeah, right. I mean, I wouldn't mind losing her, just saying, just saying. Uh, understand you like the role of Samantha? I mean, no, I, I, I'd rather have her shut the fudge up, because she's not bringing anything to the table, she's just annoying. Is the creature up there? Or are we just, oh, it's just us show, showing us. Samantha, where are you? Oh, don't tell me. I'm here. I walk straight. Oh, I hope she doesn't get lost. Straight? She must have gone this way. Or maybe this other way? Let's go here. Let's go in here. Anyway. Yeah, we'll follow this path. Here and now? Here's full of forks. Well, forks. They're not full of forks. There's one fork. Samantha, which way do you go? What? I can't hear you. Oh, don't tell me she gets lost. Samantha, which way did you go? 
What? I didn't choose any way. I'm going straight. What? How can you go straight? There's all this... The, the, this is all a tangle of tunnels. What? Tunnels? Where? Tunnels! I said tunnels! Ah, tunnels. No, I don't see any. Uh, let's go on. Maybe we'll catch up with her. It would be funny if they come up here and then Samantha somewhere down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here it is there? Here it is there? What? Samantha, we're here. How did you end up there? Rather, how did you end up over there? I followed the only path. You instead... Where did you go? Actually, we... We split it to here? We... We're... What? The road had several forks. Strange you haven't noticed them. I only followed the light and got here. I understand. Probably Samantha being without uh, lighting has taken the most visible path and didn't notice the various ways. Yeah, I followed the light. But now, please don't leave me alone. Go back and take the same path I did. I'll be waiting for you here. Hmm. I'm afraid that going back, the situation, the situation could worsen. I know which way I should choose. We could try to continue towards that light. Both our path and Samantha lead them, uh, lead them lead there. Maybe they meet. What? Are you, you're kidding, right? How can you just imagine making... Uh, how can you just imagine making me face this path all alone? What if I had to stumble and fall? Or if I cross that creature? Well, cross paths, anyway. I don't know what to do. Please come here to me. Wait, Samantha. Take a moment. Let's think uh, the situation through. It is true. At this moment, we are parted. By the way, this is such a... Like this situation right here, it's like, you know when you see horror movies where, where it's like, like there's, there's a, someone doing something that's very stupid and irrational and it's like, wait, why did you like, no, just like, let's split up gang, like stuff like that, right? Like, no, stick together, like. This is just a silly thing. Like really, she just took another path and they, they somehow, they, they, you know, they went a different way and she went another way and like, is this some sort of like, if this is a puzzle, right? This situation is absurd for a puzzle, right? This is like, if I saw this in a cartoon, I would think that's, that's like, why is that there? That's, that's crazy, you know? Ah, okay. Now let's go very quietly towards that light, and as soon as we have a uh, clear idea, let's decide where to continue since we may be able to meet or go back and solve the situation as you want. Agree? Agreed? But but I'm scared. Uh, don't be. And uh, where is the Samantha Russo that we were talking about earlier? Damn. Damn, next time I'll keep my mouth shut. Well, usually you should keep your mouth shut. Okay, let's try. Let's keep visual contact. Okay. Okay. Let's walk. I mean, this whole thing was unnecessary. Like, it, it, it didn't bring anything to the table. Unless, unless there's a... Okay. Unless there's a puzzle. Unless there's a puzzle where we have to meet back. Right? Like, um, unless there's a puzzle, then it's not necessary. If it's a puzzle that takes us back, then the situation is absurd to make the puzzle. Right? That's the, so so either way it's it's a like it I would say no. All right uh, under well all right down there it's down there anyway. Yeah everything's okay. Good we can continue. Okay. Step into the light. I mean we're still we're going the same direction but we're not we might not exit in the same place right. That's the problem? Is this outside? No, it's not. What a show. 
truly huge. Beautiful and disturbing. Now, now we're sure that someone else has already has already been here before. Oh, okay. Let's just go there so we can see it better before we just talk like Come on. Come on! To the statue, let's go! Come on guys! By the way, unfortunately, this means that this is not the exit. So we walk towards the light, but this is not the exit. So at least it doesn't look like the exit. Hmm, that's a problem. That's a problem. So she, yeah, so she's coming on that side and we're on this side. Right. But there's no bridge connecting them. Hello? Hello? Okay. Guys, there's a staircase here. Yes, and over there's a bridge that unites the two routes. Let's check. Yeah, let's go up, just go up. So is that light from the outside? I'm guessing? Stop! The bridge collapsed right here. No, it's not possible. I can't be so unlucky. All this way with the hope of being able to rejoin and now... Let me think a moment. Well, you could jump. You could try to jump. Hmm, so I, I guess, is there a path there? Okay, I can't move apparently. Uh, Samantha, I know that what I'm about to ask may seem crazy, but I believe that with a good run-up and a decisive jump, you can easily go beyond this void that separates us. Come on. You can jump across this new divide. Sorry. I had to, I had to sing that, what? Of course, nothing simpler. I've always been good at, um... Well, physic, like, physical education, right? I'm full of trophies and medals at home. Uh, is, is, is she being sarcastic, or...? I think that the Olympic champions who, who have to face a race, the evening before the competition, they call me to get advice. What, for real? Hmm, I think she was joking. Okay, right, okay. Ah, seems like quite strange. So it's nothing true? Don't you have trophies and medals at home? Uh, no. I've never been fond of working out. Having said that, let's forget the idea of making me jump on this on, on your side. Alright. I have an idea. We could use the rope we used to lift to you from the cliff. Hmm, no, for two reasons. First, when you use it, the rope rubbed several times on the rock, and it unraveled. No, it's useless. Second, uh, I didn't bring it with me. I probably left it there. Ham, I have no words to describe what I'm thinking, about, what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, I understand it, no excuse. A moment of happiness has clouded my thoughts. Oh Jesus, what a line. And I forgot the rope, sorry. Come on, Ham. It's also our fault. Don't be too hard on yourself. I like how like they have to constantly like uh, give each other like a pat on. It's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay, dude. It's fine. You don't have to feel sorry about. It. Like it's okay. You just you know you you know made all, all of our all of our um, lives you know worse and more difficult. But it's okay. You don't have to feel bad about it. It's like it's such a anyway. All right. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you can get her. Let's run. Let's leave. Let's leave her here and let's go the other path and let's run. Samantha, the the the. the. That 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 what? Are you trying to replace the Walkman? No, Samantha. The beast is behind you. Hello. By the way, the fact that she couldn't hear. Why wouldn't you tell? Why would you tell me? Are you trying to convince me to jump? Samantha, run! No, just take her. Take her, I don't care. 
claw her her eyes out. You can do that, I don't care. You're so good, you know? You almost scared me. It's really the time to... Uh, is it really the time to put up... Uh, to put such a show? Behind you! Just kill her, I don't care. Kill her. No killer. Ah! Monster! Killer! Killer, dude! I don't... Okay... Jump! Oh my god. Samantha! By the way, she could have made that jump. She definitely could have made that jump. Let her go. Let her go. Let her die in the lava. Let her die. No. No. Don't save her. She's not worth it. She's not worth it. All, all the, like... All the, you know, like her parents work, the society, school, and she's such a, you know, miserable uh, person. Just let her go. Let her go. It's, it's, it's okay. Let, let her go. You know, we can make more of her. Better versions of, of Samantha. No. God damn it. Uh, come on, let's sacrifice her to the mountain. She's probably not a virgin, but doesn't matter. Come on. Uh, thank you. You saved our friend. She's not my friend. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not friend. Not friend. Annoying bitch. Yes. Not friend. A annoying acquaintance. Yes. Well, what happened? I think I passed out. How the hell would you pass out like that? that Samantha, how are you? You tried to jump. Everything was perfect almost. Almost. Yes, I I'm starting to remember. I jumped. The foot slipped and I... Cl cleaned up? But why did I jump? The monster! Help! Oh Jesus Christ. Calm down, Samantha. It was the monster who saved you from, from uh, falling. With an incredible stunt, he grabbed you before falling. Everything suggests that it's a good creature. Yes. A good creature saving a bad creature. I think he wants to tell us something. We should go to see. How about we just go exit? Like, this creature had, like, we've disturbed this creature enough. There's, like, in a week's time, there's gonna be, like, a hundred people coming in with guns trying to get to kill the creature, get it alive, or to experiment on it, to put anal probes in its ass, obviously, because that's what I impose, and, and to destroy all of this. And to get all the rubies and stuff. Well, the I know they're not rubies, but you know what I mean. The, the, the stones. So, you know, let's leave the creature alone. Okay? You don't want to leave the creature alone? No, you don't have, want to leave the creature alone. Um, are you coming? You're not going to let me go alone, are you? I'm coming. I'm curious. Jesus. Samantha? Is it really necessary that I come too? Are we sure it has good intentions? Just leave her there, see? See, creature? Why did you let her fall? See? See what you left alive? Jesus. Well, after all, he saved your life. I think you could give him at least the benefit of the doubt and come with us to see what he's trying to tell us. Yeah, but you know, I'm young and beautiful and... Um, if then he kidnaps me and he takes me to his lair to do to me God knows God knows what, <sighs> get the chills. Huh. You're incredible, Samantha. Incredibly stupid. Yes. Do you really have these fears? Come on, I'll defend you. Mm, okay. I mean, why would you insist? Just go alone. Just go alone. Talk to the creature. We don't need her. It's pointing at those drawings on the wall. I mean, they're not drawings, they're... they're like, they're, they're sculpted in there. Do you understand what uh, what is depicted? Mm, I have some notion of ancient languages. Let's see if I can understand something. Hmm, let's see. Here, from what I can decipher, it says that... Where the ice merges to contact with lava nature has given birth to a powerful and magical creature 
provided with the uh, finesse of the wolf, the strength of the bear, and man's intelligence. Interesting. I'm convinced that uh, he's talking about you. Let's see the next uh, next part. It's a little more complicated, but maybe I can understand its meaning. It speaks of a population. Yeah, a tribe who lived in peace with this creature, respected and loved it like a like divinity. It helped out doing the heaviest and most dangerous tasks with its agility and strength. It made much. Uh, faster to complete construction works such as this bridge which we know well we know well how do we know well we just saw it 10 minutes ago the, for the first time anyway it says another thing here it speaks of a stick and a pendant that uh, the, these were forged using some fine minerals and the stick was given to it to the creature the properties of the stick uh, were to be able to restore vitality and vitality and energy to the people wearing the amulet. Yeah. Oh, so that's why he saved us, because we, we had the amulet on us. Yeah. You're talking about the two finds that I found during the re the two things I found during the research. The one for which uh, Yabrut uh, was paid to stole, the stick from what uh, the stick from what Teresa told us. We know it uh, has returned it has been returned to the right hands. While as for the pendant I locked in the safe at the installation. Which, thanks to the riddle you left pinned to the notebook, I managed to recover and... Uh, now I start, I'm start. i starting to understand uh, what might have happened after I was wounded. Did you bring me here to protect me and take care of me? You're truly a special creature. How are you in my life? It'll also be good, uh, but... Uh, uh, but when it screams like this, it's really terrifying. You just need to get used to it. This story begins to get interesting. Let's see what the next uh, low relief Basil relief tells us. Yorak. Yorak? Yorak? Sorry. Hmm. So, it looks like here a possible way out. A possible way out is shown, which, however, will be revealed only choosing the right symbols in the right sequence. Are these symbols those represented here below? Yeah, exactly those. But I can't figure out what they mean. So the first, I think, is a uh, Y. Correct, the second one is an O. And then there's an R. There's certainly an A. Two are missing, but I don't understand what they are. What do you mean two are missing? Look up. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Uh, I know it's 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 been actually whoa. We've been over two hours. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> very very long. Sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up in, in a minute. I just want to see what's what's going on here with the, with these with these because what what symbols are missing? Maybe P or Q. Hmm. To me, it looks like a G. Yeah. Well, wait. Well, yeah. W. Uh, sorry. Y O R A G H. Right? No. Uh, maybe nervous now. That like it doesn't make me nervous. It's just you know funny to me how it, like the, some of the ca well Teresa sorry Teresa uh, um, Samantha's annoying. Well, let's be honest. Like I would like Samantha to just burn in lava. Everyone else can be saved. Like the creature, I want it safe because I want it safe. It would be nice for for the creature to live a long uh, life without being probed in the ass. Um, um, like uh, Teresa, I hope she lives a long life to to you know. Take care of her child, maybe have more children, solve more cases. Um, Ham, same thing. I, I wish him the best of luck with his, you know, for him to write papers. Samantha, in the lava. Just saying, in the lava. And the last one is an H, which put all together make up the word. Is Yorak a word though? What's happening? What are you trying to tell us? He's trying to speak! It seems it has something to do with the word Yorak. Are you Yorak? Oh, that's his name? Yes, Yorak must be his name. But how are we supposed to use the word to get out of here? Uh, tell us Yorak exit please? Thank you! <laughs> um, 
Yes, I got it, yeah. For being a bit dizzy. Okay, yeah. Well, she's she's very dizzy. That def she's very she's definitely very dizzy. She's not she's not the survival type. That's the whole thing about her. She's really not the survival type. Like like it, like if if she didn't have other people to save her from herself, she would she'd be dead. You know. Oh, thanks for coming on. Thanks for, thanks for the key. Also, uh, I'll, I'll I'll play a bit longer. Although I should really leave soon because I have other stuff. Um, let's try to see if the last drawing has something more. Ah, maybe if we offer it a fruit. So there's another cave, which leads outside, but I don't understand. He speaks of the sun and the chances of being able to decide his position. Hmm. Yeah, it's strange. Samantha deciphered correctly. The sun will be able to break the darkness where it's impossible to see, lighting up the way back. It doesn't say anything more. Okay, I suggest we continue our journey. I see a tunnel down there. I think we should uh, we should see where it leads. All right, you know what? And with that, with with that uh, decision to go to the tunnel, maybe with the creature, maybe the creature's gonna come with us. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Uh, if you're interested in, in you know um, seeing where the tunnel leads, if we if our heroes can get out of the of the cave. If the creature is gonna eventually, you know, be upset with them and kill them and throw them in lava or, or I don't know, use them for a sacrifice, we don't know. We'll have to see. If you're interested in, in, in uh, checking that out, you can find Teresa uh, Teresa Montainers in the lair of the beast. Which at this point, is it really a beast? Like I think, I think we all learned that sometimes, right? Sometimes, the most uh, the, what what seems like the most savage of creatures that we call beasts is just a kind-hearted um, life, just like a, just like us. So I think we'll learn all that. But if you're interested in the game, you can find it on Steam right now. This is 15% off for the launch weeks for for another like five days ish. Uh, you can get it for very very cheap, um, like under eight dollars, under seven euros. You see the link in the description below. I have to go because I have to take my dog out, and then at 9 p.m. Central European time, um, I'm going to go live on Zoom. And uh, to watch the first two episodes of Neon Genesis Ev Evangelion uh, with you, if you're um, in my locals community, all you have to do for that is to join cryptichybrid.locals.com. You can become a member or, su or a supporter. It doesn't matter. The membership is free. Uh, the supporter tier costs four dollars a month. If you join right now, uh, like again, doesn't matter which tier you choose. You can join and, and make an account for free, or you can uh, become a supporter. Uh, you get to participate in the watch along, the anime watch along, one hour around the one hour to the first two episodes of Neon Genesis Evangelion. I've never seen this anime before. I don't really watch anime at all. So this should be weird and fun, hopefully. Hopefully, definitely weird. Hopefully also fun. Um, so uh, that was everyone. That was uh, Teresa uh, Montainers in the Lair of the Beast. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again probably tomorrow for a new live stream on Rumble because I'm I, I definitely plan to do more Rumble exclusive live streams. I mean I usually do them on, on Saturdays, and uh, so just you know, follow me there as well. Uh, CrypticHabitLocals.com to become a supporter or a member in my locals community. Definitely join there. Very important to join there. I really need more people there. It would be great. And you know the, the more people are there, the more I'm incentivized to to do more things there. Like I mean do giveaways do you know, uh, exclusive live streams, you know, play uh, play various games uh, together with uh, with members in the community. So uh, join their CryptoCapitalLocals.com, uh, link in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next time we see each other, have an awesome day.